Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Happy anniversary, baby, got you on my mind. Happy anniversary, baby, got you on my Welcome back, 17, 7 till the hour. Thank you very much for staying with me. I'm Jim Blasting Game. We're celebrating 15 years of, uh, of working with our good friend Brad Huskin. This is his 15th anniversary. Brad, thanks again for 15 great years. Brad is one of the great sm- uh, sales experts on the, in the galaxy, the author of I'm a Salesman, not a Ph.D., also Munchies for Salespeople 1 and 2, two different books, folks. So check that out. and. You can get all that. You can find out about all that and his Business Strategies and Solutions Conference in Chicago next month in August at IASTraining.com. Right, Brad? Exactly. IAS Training. And, it, folks, he's offered a 20% discount if you email him from there or info at IAS Training and tell him you heard about me, and then he'll help you work it out where you get a 20% discount on this conference if you want to go. So uh, it's in Chicago, but people are coming from all over the place. So check that out, Brad. We were talking in the previous segment, and they and by the way, they can when they get to the website, they can find out all the different topics and the people, the speakers, and all the, all their all their subjects, right, Brad? Yeah, there's a whole uh, layout on uh, each topic and each speaker and a little what their expertise is and, and how many right. times they're going to speak and all that, all the times exactly. and everything. Yep. Brad, and um, one guy actually said, you know, if you can't afford to come, that's exactly why you need to be there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good way to say it. So, okay, let's talk about difficult customers. Yep. How do we deal with tough customers? Well, number one, you got to remember service rule number one is the customer is always right. And rule number two is when the customer is wrong, refer to rule number one. And uh, the customer is always right because they are the lifeblood. And, uh, for the most part, customers come in and they have their defensive shields up. And then we just add fuel to the fire in many cases by just making the situation worse than it is, mm-hmm. trying to defend the company or defend the policies, defend this or defend that. And if you just ask the customer, well, what can we do to make this right for you? Then suddenly you take them off of that offensive mm-hmm. and they know you're going to take care of them. And at, at, the, at the very least, that gives you a starting point in the negotiation process. And most cases, I say, no matter what it takes to satisfy the customer, do it. Write it off to your advertising and marketing I, in the, budget. In the long run, it'll be a deal. It'll be cheap. It'll be considering it's very all cheap. the things that can happen: the bad will, the 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 spreading of the of of the bad will, the posting on on Yelp, and 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 all, all the bad and all the, to go with it. It's unbelievable, <laughs> and, and and all that's on steroids now, isn't it? It really is. So, it's folks, you're better off. You, you're you know, I think web. I told you, Brad, when I was with Sears decades ago, when I was a young pup, the, the store manager told me one time. He said, I, "I had I was trying to deal with a customer, and I wasn't making them happy, and I didn't I didn't understand how much Sears meant when they said, or, or your money back, right?'" Exactly. And and the store manager said, "Jim, whatever you can get the customer to agree to before they get to me." is a good deal for us because I'm going to give them everything when they get to me. Absolutely. He said, I'm going to give them whatever they want. He said, if you can fix it to make them happy with something less than that, it's a good deal for us because when they get to me, I just I just throw the doors open. They get whatever they want. Yeah, and let me play devil's advocate a little bit. I know that years ago when I was in retail, um, I didn't like being taken advantage of. Right. But, you know, if if the same thing occurs two or three times, then maybe you need to turn it down. Mm -hmm. But if if it's a legitimate first-time complaint or issue, just take care of them, for crying out loud. Because if you don't, they're going to go tell 20 people not to deal with you. But then they 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 become your cheerleaders. Absolutely. Most of the time, most people won't take take advantage of you. Some people will, but you can tell who those people are. But the main thing, first thing, Brad, is to thank him for coming in and telling you this, right? Thank Absolutely. you for telling us instead of somebody else. Yeah, and what I tell people is, you know, if you upset one customer, they're going to tell a bunch of people. But if you got ten customers out there in the world that are upset with you, mm-hmm. you're lucky if you get one of them to come back and tell you. Right. And that one of them you better take care of. Right. Because uh, it's just, I, I, 
it costs a fortune to get a customer. It costs you nothing to lose them. It's amazing how many times somebody will bring back a $15 item or something, and you'll try to show them how is the error of their ways or whatever. Uh, just give them another one and, and, and make, a, make a hero out of yourself. What's that? Exactly. It, it, I mean, the, the, the benefit, you got to realize your, your bread gets buttered a lot of different ways in the marketplace, doesn't it? It really does. And uh, building a business based on referrals and recommendations, to me, is the only way to go. That's, that's the know? goal. That's the solid goal, folks. It was Absolutely. 50 years ago, and it's one of those things that still is today. Old school is always, that's part of old school that's now part of new school. Hey, Brad, exactly. thanks for being here. Good job. Congratulations on the conference, Business Strategies and Solutions Conference at IESTraining.com. Go there and check out that 20% discount. Thanks again, Brad, for 15 Sounds great good. years. Thanks, Jim. Got to go for this hour. I'm Jim Blassingame. I'll be back, but not today. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.